Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, Norwegian had some good news uh, from their first quarter report. Got to talk about that. Region 7 Seas, uh, a ship is sail setting sail and it is uh, selling out a cruise almost four years in advance. <laughs> and uh, by the way, if you ever wonder how much it's going to cost you to do a luxury world cruise, I have that answer for you as well. We have uh, Carnival announcing sailings on the Spirit uh, for the first time, getting ready to go. And then we also have a, a Disney reporter out there who covers Disney stories in the and uh, he's in a little bit of hot water from the readers because of the headline he wrote about the Disney wish breaking down this week. Um, yeah, some people are calling it out. It's kind of funny. Okay, I teased this a little bit yesterday. If you didn't see the video uh, when I was on my last cruise, somebody came up and they they had made something for me. It's in this little package here. And if I take it out and I hold it up there, hopefully to focus on, it is a roll, a bread roll, a little, bread roll like this <laughs> and uh, if you're wondering what the story was they did this because of my story a few years back about don't touch my food and the gentleman who was touching all the rolls and licking his fingers and got butter on his hands licked his fingers and I, ugh. just just thinking about it just grosses me out already but yeah thank you again very much for that I did meet them on the cruise it was great and I wish I would have had more time to spend some time with them and thank them, but it, uh, yeah, I, it was adorable. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with Norwegian Cruise Line's first story that they beat their estimates. That's right, every company comes out and they say how much profit they think they're gonna make and what their profit line, what their shares are gonna be, and they actually came in and beat their estimates. Did they make a profit? No. They didn't make a profit. Now, not because they weren't selling cruises and they weren't making money that way from operational standpoint, but they uh, are still paying off a lot of the debt that they had and they are also bringing on, you know, new staff. They had to bring all the staff back and uh, new operations and refreshing the ships and things like that. So all those expenditures are still coming out. But the good news is, for the first quarter, they had occupancy of 101%, which, you know, uh, if you have three people in the cabin, the first two people count as, you know, the 100%, and then that one person would mean that extra, would mean that cabin's at 150% occupancy. If you had two people in there, that's 200% for that one cabin. So that means they're sailing, on average, with full ships for the entire first quarter. Now, I know most cruise lines would like to have that up around the 110, 120 zone, but they're on the rise and they say the rest of the year is looking very, very promising. So good for Norwegian Cruise Line. Now, let's talk about Region 7 Seas. Region 7 Seas is a luxury cruise line. There is no doubt about it. They're smaller ships and they're built for the luxury market. If you want to be pampered, if you want to be spoiled, these are the cruises for you. And sometimes it's wonderful. Just be pampered and spoiled. I'll admit it. But uh, this cruise is starting January 10th in 2026. Oh, almost four years from now. Uh, it's a 154 night world cruise with 77 ports of call. Uh, it sounds like a great sailing, right? Uh, but if you're ever wondering just how much that might set you back, well, if you're looking to sail in a regular veranda, now, the regular verandas are actually quite large. We're not talking tiny inside cabins anymore. We're talking pretty darn large cabins uh, with full couch and it's, all, it's basically an oversized mini suite on most ships out there. But the verandas are starting 
at around $95,000 per person. So round it off to about $200,000 uh, for this cruise in a veranda. But if you wanna be really pampered, I mean, if you're gonna take a world cruise on a luxury cruise line like Reg Region 7 Seas, maybe, maybe spoil yourself a little bit and get their master suite on board. How much would that be, you say? How much? Well, that starts at around $266,500 per person. That's right. Over a half a million dollars for a 154 night cruise, but in the most luxury style you could ask for. Um, yeah, if only, if only I would win the lottery. I'd probably jump all over this. But uh, so far in 60 years, my winnings in the lottery have added up to less than buying a, a case of pop. <laughs> so yeah, not the most lucky guy when it comes to that sort of thing uh, for lotteries. But yeah, if you can do it, boy, uh, it sounds like an amazing, amazing cruise. Next, we have the Carnival Spirit, and Carnival Spirit is offering sailings now going on sale for the 2024-2025 season. And you say, well, the Spirit's been around. There's no big deal, except it's for the first time sailing out of Mobile, Alabama. So it will be offering five, six, eight-night sailings. I believe there's a 12-night uh, Carnival Journeys southern caribbean in there and then they will also be offering the odd panama canal journey as this the ship will head off to alaska for for earlier sailings so lots of variety i know mobile alabama is excited to have carnival spirit there she's just been refurbished and so she's gonna look beautiful and there's another cruise port with more sailings. We're getting more and more places that are offering home porting for the different cruise ships now, which is really, really good because the more the closer you can get to your house and don't have to pay those exorbitant airfare prices, the better off you'll be. Now I wanna show you and talk to you a little bit about the, the Disney vlog that came out. But uh, if you remember, I, I wrote out saying broke already because it's, it's roughly about nine months since it's opening sailing and it had problems already that it had to stay overnight. Normally it takes a few years before any kind of issues show up. So luckily it wasn't a big issue and they got sailing the next day. Hopefully it's all fixed and everything's good. But one Disney vlogger out there uh, did a reporting and his headline read like this. Guests trapped aboard Disney cruise ship held overnight. Now, if you read that, it sounds like Disney is holding people hostage almost on their cruise ship, not letting them off, uh, and, and people guess were trapped on the ship. <laughs> oh my goodness, stuck overnight on a Disney cruise, right? Um, how horrible is that? You, <laughs> you're in port. Uh, is there much difference between being in port and being at sea when you're on a cruise ship? I don't think so. Uh, not, a little bit of an over-exaggeration on this post, shall we say. Uh, but as somebody in the social media atmosphere, I understand trying to get clicks on your article and trying to get people to tune in. And when you put guest trapped, it's a big headline, right? And so I understand that, but there's a way to do it. And maybe just saying, cruise ship broke down, you know, Disney wish broke, you know, Disney wish breaks down stuck in port is better than saying guests are trapped and held overnight. Uh, because let's just say as an example, one guest came out and just said, uh, oh no, not stuck on a Disney ship. How awful, seriously, this is a non-issue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's one of the kinder comments out there. Uh, we have some many, many other comments that came out like, no one was trapped. 
If you know anything about cruising, no one ever gets off a ship at night because a ship sails to another port. We simply choose to stay in port to fix the issue and then it sails the next day. Stop reporting false news, it's ridiculous, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, uh, it's, it's rough. Because your job as a person who is writing these things or even here on YouTube is to get people to watch the video. But there's a fine line between the, the clickbait that's an actual story and the clickbait that doesn't uh, really have any truth to it. And while the ship, no guests was trapped and no guests were held overnight. That's the problem. Um, so yeah, I just thought it kind of funny because uh, it, it received a lot of comments that are just, yeah, stop reporting this, stop reporting this, stop reporting this. And I have those comments all the time. And I try not to do clickbait too, too much uh, at all. Uh, you, if, if I do a clickbait, the story is what I'm talking about. Um, I, but Wow, it was pretty funny. I, I just thought it was funny, but that's just me. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. And for goodness sake, don't get stuck on a Disney ship overnight. You're, you're gonna be trapped. Oh, and I guess, yeah. What's the shirt today? Ta-da! From my trip to New Orleans. Woo!